Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to very simply hollow out an object and so what we're going to do is take a standard uh, box primitive and I'm just going to put it in the center of my grid here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And so there are, there are ways, I think you've seen in the other videos, there are ways to hollow out by doing what we call the subtraction. You put another smaller cube inside this cube and then you subtract that space uh, from the bigger cube. But there's an easy way to hollow out uh, for just for things like needing a box or needing to uh, create a boat, for example, which has been some of the examples that uh, my students have done or some of the projects that my students have done. So the way you do that is uh, remember that you can select edges, uh, corners, or points, and also sides. And so um, I'm going to select the top side here, and I'm simply going to hit the J key on my keyboard. And just like that, it hollows out. And so the dialog down here that pops up is how thick do you want that? And also, by the way, do you want it um, to be hollowed out? Which direction do you want this to go? And so obviously, for hollowing out, we want it to go towards the inside. So I could simply type in, I'm looking at millimeters right now. I can type in a number. Or I can just click and drag here if, in fact, I wanted to do uh, something with a more visual measurement. Um, in this case, I'll just leave it at 2. I click somewhere else, and that confirms my hollow out. Um, and what that does, the other thing to keep in mind is that it, you'll see here, it still keeps the bottom. So that same edge around here is also edged around the, the bottom layer as well. Okay, and that's hollowing out an item.